Fernhill SCADA uses a client-server architecture. The SCADA application runs on the Fernhill SCADA server, and client programs connect to the SCADA server to do various tasks. For example, you connect the configuration tool to a SCADA server to make changes to the SCADA application. The operator interface provides the user interface for equipment operators. The SQL test tool is used to test and develop SQL commands on the SCADA server. The aim of this video is to show you how to manage client connections. If the SCADA server and the client program both run on Windows, you can use integrated Windows authentication. This is where the SCADA server uses your Windows login details to identify you. In this example, we have a SCADA server running on Windows Server 2016. To create a connection to this server, we do the following. Click the Add New Connection entry. Enter the node name of the computer. And press OK. To start the connection, just click the New Entry. If we select the root folder, it, the status view confirms the SCADA server we are connected to. If either the SCADA server or the client program do not run on Windows, the client program will need to log in with the username and password. To create a connection to a Fernhill SCADA server running on a Raspberry Pi computer, we would do the following. Start by clicking the connection button to go back to the start page. Click the add new connection entry. Enter the node name of the computer. Remove the check against the integrated Windows authentication button. Enter a username and a password and then click OK. As in the previous example, to start the connection just click the new entry. If we select the root folder, the status view confirms the SCADA server we are connected to. We will click the connection button to disconnect and go back to the start page. If you need to make changes to a connection, right click a connection to open a context menu. Select the forget connection option to remove it from the list or select edit to make changes to a connection. On the connection dialog there is an advanced button. Use this button to set additional options of the connection. Situations where you might need to use this are when the Fernhill SCADA server is not using its default port number, if you want to restrict the connection to use IP version 4 or IP version 6, or there's a problem with the connection and additional diagnostics are required. In most situations, you do not need to use these options. That concludes this video. Don't forget the links at the bottom of the start page to access help topics.